In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Today is Wednesday. We're in the 23rd week of Ordinary Time, and we're celebrating also a memorial of St. Peter Claver, who made himself a slave to the slaves. He really became a servant of the poorest and the most desperate people. And so that we can prepare our hearts to have that heart of St. Peter Claver to become the least, let us call to mind our pride, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Peter Claver a slave of slaves, and strengthened him with wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help, Grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in regard to virgins, I have no commandment from the Lord, but I give my opinion as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. So this is what I think best because of the present distress, that it is a good thing for a person to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek a separation. Are you free of a wife? Then do not look for a wife. If you marry, however, you do not sin nor does an unmarried woman sin if she marries. But such people will experience affliction in their earthly life, and I would like to spare you that. I tell you, brothers, the time is running out. From now on, let, us, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, those using the world as not using it fully. For the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Here you go. God. Listen to me, daughter. See you bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter. Seem and your ear. Hear, O daughter, and see. Turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty. For he is your Lord, you must worship him. Listen to me, daughter, see men your ear. Listen to me, daughter, see men your ear. They are born and Gladness and joy They enter the palace of the king The place of your fathers Your sons you shall have You shall make them princes through all the land Listen to me, daughter See bend your ear Listen to me daughter 
seen and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter. Seen and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter. Seen and bend your ear. Rejoice and leap for joy, your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Lord, be in our minds, on our lips, and in our hearts. Raising his eyes toward his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way, but woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. Woe to you who are rich, and, and blessed are you who are poor. I was uh, getting ready for Mass, uh, but before that I had a big meeting, and before that I had a big day. And I was trying to go from one thing to another, and I had to do something on the computer, so I grabbed my mouse. And my dog, who is completely poor, has no money and no food, depends completely on me for food, starts pawing at my hand. He wants me to think about uh, him and feeding him. And I'm like, no, no. And then he just kept pawing at my hand. So I moved the mouse over here, and I pet him with this hand. And I was thinking about how God's saying, blessed are us who are poor, who are totally dependent on God, because we're going to be satisfied. We're going to get those things we truly ask. And then the dog followed me upstairs and was, was completely uh, begging again. And I thought, uh, wow, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Just persevere, Jesus says, that the woman got what she wanted from the judge in the middle of the night. Because she persevered, she just kept asking. And the man who had the friend visit from another town and went to his neighbor to get some food, he persisted. And so he got what he wanted. Let's become poor of heart. And let's beg God for those graces, those mercies, those life changes that we really need to see in our own hearts and in our own minds, uh, so that we too can become like loving little Tigger just full of joy, full of life, and depending totally on God as a, as a little tigger depends on his master. That's our faith. It's given to us by the Lord Jesus Christ, lived out by the wonderful Saint Peter Claver. And now it's our turn to really empty our hearts and trust fully in God. And what a wonderful way to live, trusting God, and what a wonderful faith we have. The intention for today's Mass are the intentions of the parish. 
Loving Heavenly Father, we ask you to just empty our hearts of all the clutter, all the noise, and just let us for this moment be poor in spirit, poor within our hearts. Let us depend on you. And as we offer our lives in your service, in your devotion, so we offer these prayers and petitions for our church and for our world. For our church, uh, that as Pope Francis says, we might be a poor church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world, that the needs of the poor are always forward in our mind, and our love for all might be noticed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for our Holy Redeemer, our parish, that she might truly continue those beautiful works of mercy through our outreach and through all the things we do to help those who need it the most, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way, that they may be uh, comforted, healed, know your peace and your loving touch, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who have died, that they might see the face of God this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who grieve, that they might be comforted. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of our prayer, perish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we bring all these prayers to you, our loving Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Lord, we ask you to receive us, to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer in humble and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. And now pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, give praise and glory to his name, for our good and the good of all his children. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one, by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the Church, and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks and praise, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many.
for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Earl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, Critolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Critolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Quitolis peccata mundi, dona nobis partem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ may be safe for eternal life. Jesus, you're 
pray together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now physically receive you at this moment, come spiritually into my heart. You are already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and the heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.